you find an idea that requires three or four years of improvement and patience and really sticking with it, uh, that we're very good at that. Take Windows, which we bet our company on. Everybody doubted that would succeed. IBM did not support us in that. Uh, it took longer than we expected, uh, over four years before finally graphical interface got popular. And now people take it for granted. It's part of every personal computer and you just, you just expect it to be there. That was one of the grand successes of the company. In the same way, we're betting on the internet, that our tools there will be popular, and that a few of these content plays that we've decided to get involved in, that the scale and, and the users will make those into great businesses. I'm in meetings a lot. My calendar gets very full with those, and then at night, after the kids have gone to bed, I'm on email a great deal. I get, get messages during the day, that's my chance to give long responses. And then over the weekend, I, I uh, send a lot of mail as well, as well. I take two weeks a year to just go off and read and think where I'm not interrupted by work or anything else. I'm just uh, solidly trying to think about the future and people get to send me things to read as part of that so-called uh, think week. So it's a nice mix of things. About 25% of the time that I'm out uh, traveling around, meeting with customers, Europe, uh, Asia, and that sort of helps me think, okay, do we have the right priorities? What, what are people responding well to and what would they, they like to see us do better? Oh, his sense of design, that everything had to fit a certain aesthetic. Uh, the fact that he, with this little engineering background as he had, you know, it shows that design can lead you in a good direction. And so phenomenal products came out of it. He knew about brand. I mean, in, in the in very positive sense, he, he understood. He had an intuitive sense for marketing that was uh, amazing. You can't just keep doing the same old thing you were doing before. You have to take your skills and attack the new frontiers. Uh, for example, graphical interface used to be outside the operating system. And so there were many people doing those systems. Uh, Windows uh, came out ahead there, and now it, it comes with the operating system. Uh, likewise, the, the browser is something that Netscape looked at turning the browser into an operating system, and we looked at taking our operating system and, and building the browser in an integrated fashion. And so that was a good example of the kind of competition that spurs this business on. Hello, I'm Bill Gates, Chairman of Microsoft. In this video, you're going to see the future, Windows. Microsoft first came up with the Windows concept back in 1983. And today, the leading software users have switched into the Windows environment. It's really incredible how quickly our powerful applications like Word and Excel and PowerPoint have been adopted. It's not just Microsoft applications. Even companies like WordPerfect and Lotus have now come out with Windows applications. And every week we see new innovative work. It's really attracting all the innovation in the industry. We predicted this a long time ago and now it, it's the future. The key point there is you've got to enjoy what you do every day. And for me, that's working with very smart people. It's working on new problems. You know, every time we think, hey, we've had a little bit of success, we're pretty careful not to dwell on it too much because the bar gets raised. Well, I think throughout our history we wake every day knowing that in the business of technology uh, you have to think about what are you missing what is the research or customer feedback that you should be paying more attention to and how do you keep that pace of innovation very very high how do you make sure you're hiring the very best people and that kind of focus has has helped drive us forward through all the milestones the company has had uh, certainly the internet is is a great example of that we had to uh, tear up our uh, our plans and, and step back and say, well, how do we how do we really embrace all that's good about the internet and recognize some of the shortcomings and make sure we're leading the way 
in uh, producing what, what a, has held people away from the internet. If you find an idea that requires three or four years of improvement and patience and really sticking with it, uh, that we're very good at that. Take Windows, which we bet our company on. Everybody doubted that would succeed. IBM did not support us in that. Uh, it took longer than we expected, uh, over four years before finally graphical interface got popular. And now people take it for granted. It's part of every personal computer and you just, you just expect it to be there. That was one of the grand successes of the company. In the same way, we're betting on the internet, that our tools there will be popular, and that a few of these content plays that we've decided to get involved in, that the scale and, and the users will make those into great businesses. I'm in meetings a lot. My calendar gets very full with those, and then at night, after the kids have gone to bed, I'm on email a great deal. I get, get messages during the day, that's my chance to give long responses. And then over the weekend, I, I uh, send a lot of mail as well, as well. I take two weeks a year to just go off and read and think, where I'm not interrupted by work or anything else. I'm just uh, solidly trying to think about the future and people get to send me things to read as part of that so-called uh, Think Week. So it's a nice mix of things. About 25% of the time that I'm out uh, traveling around, meeting with customers, Europe, uh, Asia, and that sort of helps me think, okay, do we have the right priorities? What, what are people responding well to and what would they, they like to see us do better?